Hello everyone, I'm Nick. Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's continue our Hogwarts mystery. We are about to continue with the main story, Year 4, Chapter 12. Story Part 4 and 5 and the Lessons Serpent Sortia. But let's go with the main story first. Spy on Madame Rakepeak for Snape. Spy on Rakepeak in the hospital wing. Go! Hospital wing. Spy on Rakepeak. Excuse me, Madame Pomfrey. Professor Snape sent me to retrieve some of the scarab beetles he gave you. That's fine. Scarab beetles won't help these students stricken with the sleepwalking curse. Can I do anything to help? You can tend to the patients and provide a comforting presence. Oh. Madam Rigpick has been kind enough to visit the cursed students since the moment she returned to Hogwarts. I'm sure she has. I'll do my best to watch what she does. You mean like spying? Yeah. Spy on Madam Rigpick. Start. This will make you feel better, hopefully. Everyone must end up in the hospital wing at some point. No, I'm not sure. You don't look that bad. What happened to you? Sleepwalking too? Everything is in its proper place. I'm glad to see you helping around here. Glad to help. Is the cow dog disturbing you? What? Why? Can I take your mind off it? Here, let me help you. What do you need? I wonder where this Forbidden Forest map leads. There are so many medicines here. How hard could it be to regrow teeth? Yeah, it's not that hard. How are you feeling? Success! Collect! Hmm. This student has been asleep much longer than the rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, five weeks and three days. The longer the curse lasts, the longer they sleep. Oh. I fear that if the curse isn't broken soon, they may never wake again. Hmm. And we don't understand why they stopped sleepwalking mm -hmm. when it happened before. Professor Dumbledore believed they stopped because of the interference with the curse fault. Mm. Does he have a hypothesis as to why the curse returned after being broken years ago? Uh -huh. Do we know that the curse was broken years ago? Mm. No, I suppose we don't. Oh. Thank you for everything you do, Madam Pomfrey. Let's hope this curse is broken and these students are freed. Oh. Isn't that right, Mr. Cowdog? Yeah, you. Eavesdropping. That's too obvious though. Um, yes, of course. Ooh. Did you learn everything you hope by spying on me? Yes, I'm not spying. Uh, maybe. Actually, I'm not spying. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. There is more truth in that statement than you will ever know. Give Severus Snape my regards. 
How did you... What the... Spy on Rigpig. Done. Talk to Snape. Tell me what you discover about Rigpig during your next potions class. Alright, Professor. So, talk to Snape about Rigpig. Let's do the lessons first then. Serpent Sorcia. Go. Transfiguration Classroom. Serpent Sorcia. Serpent Sorcia. Start. Serpent Sorcia Demonstration. Today we will practice summoning spells. Specifically, Serpent Sorcia. Serpent Sorcia conjures a snake from the tip of your wand. Do not be reckless with this spell. It is incredibly dangerous. <clears throat> Allow me to demonstrate how it works. Pay close attention to this next part. I'm impressed with your diligent note-taking. Thank you. It says consider the snake what? I better write this down. This is the most important part. So please pay extra close attention. Focus! What kind of snake is that? It's like a rubber snake though. Study Transfiguration Alphabet. I'd like to everyone to come up front and see closely what I have written on the blackboard. The homework is on the board, I'm afraid to look. But why would I want to turn a little box into a wild beast? Serpent Sorcia. Okay. Mm? Are you getting this, students? Please pay very close attention. Focus! Memorize shape. Hmm. You must visualize the snake you wish to summon. Try it now. Ah, so that's the snake. Too many legs is a good indicator that the spell has been mispronounced. Well, there is no leg in snake. The party force will put right on successful transfigurations. This catch will help me remember the one movement for this spell. Perhaps I can create something. Now, picture the shape of the snake in your mind. Recall. Horn skills. Mm -hmm. What's up students? I want you on your feet for this part of the lesson. When I cast a spell, my mind should be focused on the incantation. Would you judge me if I wore snakeskin trousers? You may attempt to summon a snake. To apply your one power perfectly, you must have total concentration. Focus!
Prepare to cast Serpent Sorcia. Uh -huh. Now it's your turn. Attempt to summon a snake. I better be careful or I'll put someone eyes out. What the? Let me look over each component of this spell correctly. Either your transfiguration succeed or it doesn't. Of course. Too many legs is a good indicator that the spell has been mispronounced. I'll practice till this lesson every day. Now, cast Serpent Sorcia. Cast spell. Really that easy? Hey, snake. Success! Learn Serpent Sorcia! Collect! So, Serpent Sorcia done! Next up with the main story part 5. Talk to Snape about Red Pig. Let's report back to Snape in the potions classroom. So, talk to Snape about Red Pig. Talk to Snape in the potions classroom. Go! Potions Classroom, talk to Snape. What sort of idiot would try to spy on Madame Rigpig? Oh right, me, yeah. Do Murtlaps make good pets? Maybe. Hagrid love them. Hey Sickleworth, why are you here? Professor Snape! Sit down, cow dog. I just wanted to tell you what happened with... Sit down. We will speak after class. After class again, Professor Snape. Potions class, start. In this class. Search for ingredients. <laughs> there are ingredients for today's lesson on the shelf over there. Let's go and have a look. I don't know where it is. That's why I asked to, for your help. This is supposed to be potions class, not finding class. Wow, so true. This is hopeless. Ah. Some jars are back there, but it's too dark to read the labels. Cast Lumos to shine a light. Cast Lumos. Prepare to cross ingredients. For today's lesson, you will need to cross ingredients with a mortar and pestle. Get to work. Ready to work. It's a shame to cross all these beautiful ingredients. Why? Sheriff wig, silver wheat, sneeze word. Texture must have been. Everything is ready. Now to cross these ingredients properly. Cross ingredients. Prepare to add ingredients. Place your ingredients in your cauldrons. No splashing.
Remember to sprinkle from a safe height. I have everything I need. Do you? Bring culture to a boil. I need to put my ingredients in the culture. Timing is critical. Add ingredients. Prepare to stir. Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. I will observe your attempt. Watch me and you might actually learn something. I know how to help. Then help. I expect your potions to be bubbling by now. It will. Bring cauldron to a boil. I need to stir my cauldron. I hope I'm doing this right. Stir potion. Prepare to finish potion. Finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. Staring won't make your potion better than mine. Almost finished. This is a lot more difficult. I'm nearly finished. Time to add the final touches to my potion. Finish! Success! Go look! Never discuss our arrangement or anything having to with red pig around your fellow students. Why? I don't believe she's working alone and I believe at least one of her co-conspirators is a student in Slytherin. You mean Marula? Why do you think that? It's irrelevant. Tell me what you learned about Rick Pick. She has a key from Phil's office. He says someone said it to him along with three black quills. She wants to know who. Go on. She's looking for a magical map of Hogwarts that used to be kept in Phil's office. She thinks my brother may have had it at one time. Also, you should never mess with Madame Rosmerta. What else? She knows you sent me to spy on her. Obviously, yeah. You knew? Rigpig has many flaws, but stupidity is not one. She said what she wanted me to hear and will wait for my response. How? You used me! And in an attempt to save Hogwarts, 
and your unfortunate existence, don't be so sensitive. Since you chose to help me investigate Rakepick, I'm giving 20 points to Ravenclaw. Well, thank you. How about the broom, though? Take this. What is this? Garroding gas. Anyone who breathes it will choke to death or what? Rakepick may try to kill you, and this may save your life. Okay, then. I will call on you again to help me expose her, cow dog. Continue to follow my orders and I will teach you a curse I invented that I have never shown anyone. You mean like Sectum Sempra? You make the hardest Chapter 12 task. complete. Working with Snape. Collect. Your magic Chapter 13. The Centaur's Arrow. Broom and purification in hand. You're finally ready to return to the Forbidden Forest and get rid of the rat cap. If you succeed, you'll face your biggest threat yet. Start. Talk to Snape. Done. Talk to Charlie. Did you brew the purification potion, Dick? I'll meet you in the clock tower courtyard as soon as I can. All right, Charlie. So, yes, year four, chapter 13. Talk to Charlie about the rat cap and the lessons broom surfing. And Nizel, wow. So I'm gonna do this next main story on the next episode. I'm gonna conclude this episode here after finally complete this year 4 chapter 12. And do what Professor Snape asked me to do. Thank you friend, for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on the next Hogwarts Mystery.